Welcome to the fourth and final video in our small business tax series. The time has come for you to spread your wings and file your taxes. U.S. business taxes, that is. If you haven't already watched our other videos on common tax deductions, tax credits, and preparing to file, head on over to the links in the description below. One more time with feeling. This video is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon as tax or legal advice. Since everyone's tax situation is different, contact your tax advisor if you need assistance. To start, let's talk dates. You can usually start filing your taxes at the end of January. Returns for partnerships and S-corporations are due March 15th, and returns for individuals, sole proprietors, and C-corporations are due April 15th. The exact due dates can vary year to year because of holidays, weekends, or special relief measures, so you'll want to verify exactly when your state and federal taxes are due each year. There are three ways you can go about filling out and filing your tax forms with the IRS. Download and prepare forms manually, use a tax preparation software, or hire a tax pro. Let's review each option in more detail. You can manually fill out tax forms yourself by downloading them from the IRS website. You can also use their free file fillable forms, which provide help with some basic calculations. Another option is to use tax preparation software to guide you through the filing process by answering questions that determine which credits and deductions you may be eligible for. If your adjusted gross income is less than a certain amount, you can use the IRS's free file software to file your federal taxes. If you do your taxes online through the free file tool, your taxes automatically get sent to the IRS. Or why not hire someone to do the hard stuff? The third option is to hire a tax professional to prepare and file your forms for you. Small business taxes can be complex, especially if it's your first tax season as a business owner. So we highly recommend this method if you want peace of mind. A tax pro will ensure all the forms you need are filled out correctly, filed successfully, and submitted on time. And make sure you're saving the most money. But stylish pantsuit person, you say? We came here to learn how to file our own taxes. Fair enough, brave viewers. Thankfully, the process for filing your personal taxes is the same as it was before you were a business owner, but with some added steps. If you own a sole proprietorship or single member LLC, you'll need Form 1040, as we mentioned earlier, along with Schedule 1, which is used to report other income and adjustments. You'll also need Schedule SE and Schedule C. If you're claiming home office expenses, you'll need to complete Form 8829. And if your business is a rental property, you'll also need Schedule E. Remember Schedule K-1 that we mentioned in our other video? Each partner or LLC member will pay taxes on their own tax return for their share of the profits listed on Schedule K-1. To do this, you'll complete Schedule E using the information from Schedule K-1, which will then flow to Schedule 1 on your 1040. If you own an S corporation or an LLC that gets taxed as an S corporation, you'll need to include the information from your S corporation Schedule K-1 on Form 1040. Again, you'll do this by completing Schedule E, which flows to Schedule 1 on your 1040. As we mentioned before, if you're the owner of a corporation or an LLC that has opted to be taxed as a C corporation, you'll first file your corporate income tax return, then include on your personal income tax return any dividends, salary, or other income you received from the corporation. And there you have it everything you need to know about how to file your small business taxes and stop sweating tax season. Remember, the key to pain-free tax season is making bookkeeping a regular item on your small business to-do list. Did I mention we have a whole video series on bookkeeping? Check it out here. We also have a knowledgeable team of in-house accounting advisors if you want a little coaching to help get you on the right track. Feel free to book a consultation below. Running a business isn't easy, and we totally understand if bookkeeping isn't your favorite thing. Whatever you decide is right for you, we hope this video and the rest of the small business tax series will help make your next tax season suck a little less. Now, get out there, spread your wings, and file away.